Unit 8, Lesson 3, Part 2, Surface Area and Volume of Prisms and Pyramids. So we just completed uh, the volume of a square-based pyramid. So now what we're going to do is the volume of a triangular prism. So a triangular prism is one where the, uh, the base and the top are triangles and the other sides are rectangles. So the area of the base in this case is a triangle. So I've already converted it for you. So it's base times height divided by two, which is the area of a triangle and the height of the prism. So you have to uh, imagine that the triangle is down and you're measuring the height of the prism. So it's not the height of the triangle, it's the height of the prism. So you have to be careful which height you're using when. So let's take a look at our picture here. So the, let's start with the base and the height of the triangle. So this is the base of my triangle. So I'm gonna label that B. The height of my triangle is this side right here. So that's gonna be the height. So that when I say height, I'm talking about the base and height of the triangle. If I were to put the triangle down, I have to then figure out what is the height of my prism. So I'm gonna label it right here. So this is height two, just so that I know that it's the height that I'm using second. Okay, so now we can start plugging in our numbers. So the base is three centimeters. The height of our triangle is 3.6 centimeters. And we're going to divide that by two. So that's the, the triangle portion. And then we're going to multiply that all. Let me just put this in brackets just to keep it separate. I'm going to multiply that all by 3.5 centimeters. So I would do this in two steps. So I would get the um, area of the triangle first. So 3 times 3.6 equals divided by 2 equals, so I'm left with 5.4, and I've multiplied centimeters and centimeters, so that's going to give me centimeters squared, and then I'm going to multiply that by 3.5 centimeters. So this is how it converts to centimeters cubed, so I've got centimeters squared times centimeters, which when you're adding exponents, this is a 2, this is a 1, so that's where the 3 comes from. So 5.4 times 3.5 rounded to the nearest whole number. So I got 18.9, um, but if I round that to the nearest whole number, that's going to give me 19 centimeters squared times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So the volume of the triangular prism is cent uh, 19 centimeters cubed. So we're gonna do one more uh, volume. We're gonna do the volume of a rectangular prism. So again, I start with my formula. So it's area of the base times the height. So the area of the base is the length and the width and then the height. So I go to my diagram and I like to label my variables so that I know where I'm putting them. So this six centimeters is the length. This three centimeters is the width and the four centimeters is the height of the rectangular prism. So volume equals length, which is six centimeters, times the width, which is three centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters. Now, because this is just straight multiplication, you don't have to do it in two steps. You can just go right across. So six times three times four is 72 centimeters cubed. So don't forget your cubed units because you've got centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. So when you're um, adding, that's like uh, an exponent one, exponent one, exponent one, and you're adding it together to get the centimeters cubed. 